Hey guys, I'm Satchel Snow and this is the Timber Rattlesnake, the most northernmost venomous snake in the United States after the Prairie Rattlesnake. They can be found all throughout the United States on the eastern side basically. So all the way from Massachusetts down to northern Florida and west to eastern Texas where we are right now. So these guys have a big range throughout the eastern United States, but throughout their original historic range they've been extirpated in a lot of their states which means locally extinct. And in Massachusetts they're only found in three spots throughout the entire state. So unfortunately, through the early 1900s, they were targeted, eliminated. So in the Northeast, they're more of a black, dark brown color, but down here, this is what's called a cambric rattlesnake. So they actually used to think it was a subspecies, but it's the same snake, it just looks a lot different from the ones up north. So down here, they're gonna have those black chevrons, be a little lighter pinkish to gray color, and have that beautiful dorsal stripe down the back, which is really cool looking. Not a lot of snakes will have features like this, so it's a really awesome snake. And so these guys are a really thick-bodied and heavy-bodied snake, even for a rattlesnake species. So they're one of the bigger rattler species. They can get four and a half to six and a half feet at the largest. That's a massive one, though. So this guy's scientific name is Crotalus horridus, which sounds like horrible rattlesnake or horrible creature. But that's just not the case at all. He's a beautiful animal. He's not trying to hurt me. And if he did, I wouldn't blame him because I'm messing with him. So if he was trying to defend himself, I would understand, but he's not even trying to bite me right now. That's how chill and docile this rattlesnake species is. They're one of the calmer rattlesnakes. And so these guys are a pit viper, so they have those heat pits in between their eyes and nose. And what that does is it tracks their favorite prey, which are small, warm-blooded animals like rats, mice, and even some rabbits at this bigger size, and even the occasional bird. So what they'll do is they'll post up on a little game trail, and if a little rat or a little rodent comes by, wham! They grab it, tag it with that venom, stab them with those hypodermic needle fangs, and envenomate. So these guys are expert ambush predators, and that's because their venom is super toxic. In the northernmost part of their range, they have more of a hemotoxic venom, but as you come further south, it becomes slightly more neurotoxic. So it's more of a one-two punch that's gonna shut down your organs, and they can get necrosis, so that's not a good thing at all. And that's why you want to give these snakes a wide berth if you see them down here or anywhere in the country because their venom is still toxic enough to kill you in every part of their range. And so a really fascinating thing about the timber rattlesnake is that in the northern parts of their range where it's much cooler, they'll be diurnal, so they'll be active during the day and then sleep at night. Whereas down here in the south, they'll be much more nocturnal because it's so hot during the day they want to escape that heat and they'll be mainly active at night. So it's interesting that they're the same species of snake, yet depending on their region, their habits are much different. And so being one of the most northern species of venomous snakes, these guys have a crazy adaptation called brumation. And what that means is it's basically hibernation for reptiles. They'll find a den in a rocky little outcrop, and up to 100 timber rattlesnakes and even some other species will congregate and hibernate throughout the winter in that brumation state. And so one of the reasons timber rattlesnakes are so endangered or threatened in almost every state they live in is because females only give birth about every two to three years. So that means that once they've reached sexual maturity at five, they only have about two to three litters in their lifespan to give birth. So if people would go up there and destroy those dens or move those snakes to put into the zoo, that really affects the local population because it takes all of those snakes away and eliminates those breeding females. So if you see one, just enjoy it from a distance and remember that you don't wanna kill these snakes or move them because it really affects their populations because they are endangered, especially where I live. So it's really hard to find them because of all the people who have killed them in the past. And so the timber rattlesnake, guys, one of the most beautiful snakes you'll ever see in your life. And I hope after watching this video, you learn why it's so important to conserve and respect these snakes and love them as much as I do because they're an awesome species and they deserve our respect and they don't want to mess with you at all. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more untamed stuff like this. And until next time, thank you guys so much. See you next time.